All right, so it's finally warmed up a little bit. I don't know, we're no, we don't know how long it's going to last, but <laughs> we're hoping for a while. So I'm out working on the bus again. So moist, the air is so moist inside the shop here. The windows are all fogged up, and the, uh, the outer skin, <laughs> oh, the whole thing on the outside has all got a a uh, layer of moisture on it. Must be close to 100% humidity. But at least it's not freezing, so that's good. Anyways, my uh, steering column came in. That's it there. And all the rest of the bits and pieces to make it uh, to make it work. Um, there's one of the column drops I'm going to use there to mount it. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do here today is start mocking it all up. My uh, the, the fiberglass, the dash, is uh, it's down at uh, in Blaine. I just have to go down and get it. But the steering wheel is not here yet, so I'm hoping to just kind of wait for a few days till the steering wheel shows up, and then just make one trip down there. But we'll see how that goes. I'm going to uh, cut the back two legs off of this chair, slide it back to where it. Uh, it's, a, it's about the right height for a seat, so I'm going to slide it back into position and that'll help me uh, for positioning this steering column. So, let's get at it. Okay, so a little bit further along here, I went and cleaned up the all the rust and crap off the dash the best I can. So I think it's going to be okay. For uh, you know, I'm just going to cap it with either fiberglass or, or I'll build something out of uh, medite. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. What I decide to do there, but, but, uh, anyways, this vertical panel here will be all right. The dash, you know, this part over here, which I don't even know how much until I get the fiberglass uh, uh, dash. I don't even know whether. I may have to trim more of that out of there yet or not or whatever I don't really know but uh, anyways I'm just uh, mocking the steering column up um, I think that's pretty close to where I want it it'll tilt it's in the center position now so it'll tilt either way from from there uh, I don't have the steering column e or the sorry the steering wheel yet it's uh, still coming so till I get get it here I don't know for sure you know vertically how I, I want it for sure but I'm thinking that's pretty close and then I have a dual u-joint here it'll go down into back into the original and then the shaft I'm going to pull that shaft out of the um, out of the original steering column cut it down and um, uh, Put the two of them together here. This, um, because I've done this before on the other bus, I didn't use a dual U joint on it. I uh, just used a single, but uh, this one I've got the the uh, little bit steeper angle on it. So the other one's at just a single U joint. It's right at the edge of its uh, of its uh, um, the amount it'll 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 uh, turn. So I needed a little bit more for this one, so that's why I got the, the double. Uh, it's a one-inch shaft. This is a one-inch double D, so I'm going to. Uh, it'll fit in there. I gotta. I have to um, uh, cut a couple of flats spots on it to slide up in there because of the. Uh, anyways, I'll. Anybody that's done this uh, hot rod, street rod kind of stuff, they know what a double D shaft is. So, uh, but uh, for those of you that don't, I'll. Uh, when I get to that, I will. Um, I'll video that too, but. Anyways, this, uh, and I don't want to do that yet until I have the wheel and make sure that this is, you know, at the, the up and down where I want it. Um, at this point, it's just a matter of loosening the screws off here on these column drops and sliding it up and down, you know, exactly where I want it and retightening it. So um, until I do that, I won't put that shaft in. I'll get the steering column torn apart and get the pieces out of it, but I won't... Um, actually build that shaft yet until after um, after I have the 
the dash and the steering wheel and everything here, which hopefully will be next week. I'm just going to put the the uh, signal light switch and tilt lever and all that kind of stuff on here now. And then uh, we'll continue on. This is the, the uh, it's a billet specialties uh, horn button on it. Um, so when the steering wheel gets here, it has a different uh, pa uh, bolt pattern, so I'll just have to cut it out and, um, and re-drill it. So, anyways, fun and games. I've got this chair in here temporarily. Cut the <laughs> legs off the back of it. Um, that's at the height. I want the seat, so I'm just using that for kind of putting everything where it's comfortable. Maybe I'll just leave it in there. What could go wrong with that? Well, so uh, this piece here is the original floor, what would you call it, cover? Anyways, uh, where the steering column comes through the floor, that is the original, the original piece there. So. What I'm going to do is I'll polish that. So what I did last time is I just polished that uh, aluminum. And then um, I put one of these, which is a swivel steering column mount, the firewall mount. And I put it onto there like that and had the steering column run through it. Sorry, I'm not aiming the camera very well. <laughs> um, and then it just pivots to whatever angle it needs to be. But, I just took this out of the package, and this is a little bit different than the last one I used. It's too big. It's bigger than the... bigger than the uh, this piece here, so I might have to get another one. And now that I take it under the package, I can't send it back either, so... Anyways, it's life, I guess. get a whole lot more done here other than putting the levers and whatnot on it. Pops is over there. Making pieces and making noise, so it's getting cold. So I guess that's pretty much all we'll get done today. Might take a little bit of time. This is the original steering column. And I need that this shaft out of it here. Not sure if I'll use this end or there's a U-joint up in here. What I did last time is I used that U-joint on the steering box. I'm not sure if I'll do that again this time or if I'll use the original this end here. Maybe I'll figure out that as I go along. Anyways, I I'm going to pull this thing apart, so I'll do that next. Hi everybody, uh, it's now two weeks later. <laughs> I've had the flu, I'm just getting over it now. It's been a bitch. Uh, that's the, uh, the fiberglass dash that I got. Uh, that I'll now take and Cut all up to make it work, <laughs> but that's half the fun, right? Um, I'm wondering who, how many people know what that's from. Maybe uh, make your guess in the comments if you uh, think you know what it is. Some of your old truckers will uh, will recognize it. It's a fiberglass reproduction, and. Uh, some of you old truckers, you'll recognize it, but uh, anyways, leave a comment there and uh, let me know, see, see how many people can uh, then guess what, uh, what it's from. My other moldings are made up uh, now, I just have to pick them up. So, they had to remake all those moldings, which they weren't too happy about, but they screwed it up, so they replaced it. I'm hoping to get... Uh, the aluminum to do the 
the inside of the cages here uh, at the end of the month. So just kind of accumulating parts and pieces while it's cold here to you know so I got it all here when the uh, when it warms up again. Meanwhile I'm just kind of tinkering away with whatever we can. Dad and I are both just getting better here from the flu. Dad's out puttering around here. I'm uh, this is the steering wheel I got for it and um, I've just taken all the original uh, wheel or hub adapter parts off of it and uh, got to adapt it to that other steering column and and this uh, horn button will go on it like that on the column. This doesn't have as much dish in it as what I had anticipated, so that column might have to come up a little bit. I'm not sure. I'll just mount this thing on there and then and then uh, get Dad to sit in the chair and we'll <laughs> figure it out. Anyhow, more later. Okay, so I got the center hole here cut out for this wheel. It's sitting in here. I uh, just have to mark the. I'm going to put the horn button in here and use the bolt pattern on it to mark the nine holes uh, around here that I have to drill for the, uh, the bolt down. Okay, so there's the steering wheel all mounted. Ow, ow. Uh, came out pretty nice. That wheel is. A lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. What? The wood's just, uh, well, I don't think it's actually a wood, it's plastic, but it, uh, it's a lot lighter, redder than what, uh, what it looked like in the picture. I'm not really sure if I'm all that thrilled with it or not, but anyways, it's just a steering wheel. I'll get another one if I need to. Anyways, it, uh, mounted on there pretty nice. Um, I do think it might be just a tiny bit low, but um, I'll get Dad to sit in there. And he's a little bit bigger around the middle than I am. Not much, but a little bit. And we'll uh, see how it feels for him. And then I'll either raise it up or, or not. It's just a matter of sliding it up those uh, in those uh, column drops down there. Anyways, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start fitting this dash. Just got it sitting on the floor here right now, but I'll start fitting that. And uh, yeah, I wanted to have the steering column mounted and the, the uh, steering wheel and everything all uh, in position before I started mess messing around with that that uh, dash. I'm gonna end up um, cutting it. Uh, well, I'm gonna take this piece here out this piece here and move it over into about here so I'll have a six inch panel it'll be flat and then this then I'll move this over wherever it uh, makes sense to probably somewhere around in there fiberglass it all back together and then and then and then twist this around so that it rather than being flat here it uh, it angles across in here somewhere kind of hard to visualize right now but once I get it uh, chopped up and fiberglass back together again it'll make more sense and I got the steering shaft here out of that steering column that I need so I think I'll end up using that u-joint down on the bottom rather than what's down there now um, and then I'll just Cut this shaft to length and finish this end to it so it goes uh, up into that uh, U joint there. And, uh, hang on a second here. Been about three years since I did the other bus, so I went and took a look at it to try and remember what I'd done. And um, 
If you'll remember the, the one of the last uh, segments here, this wasn't fitting. This piece here wasn't fitting on here. It's too big. Well, what I did on the other one is this is tapered, so I just cut it down to wherever the you know the diameter would match that, and then uh, and then uh, tack welded it on there. So that's what I did last time. That's what I'll do again. I forgot that, that that's what I'd done. So. Once I polish this up, well, I'll cut it down first, then polish it, and then I'll take it to work and get one of the guys. I don't have any uh, any way of uh, welding aluminum, but uh, what I did last time is I just tack welded it to half of this. Kind of like that. And then this other piece was able to just slide in underneath there and, and screw together in here. Anyways. We'll see how that all goes together once I once I get to it. But I'm pretty bushed. Still don't have much energy, so I'm calling it a day. All right, so I'm just starting to fit this dash here. I think that's about where I want it. It. Uh, Looking through the top of the steering wheel there to the to where the gauges will be mounted will be a pretty good view of the gauges. Um, got it all chopped up here. Have to fiberglass it all back together again. Um, right about here, I believe, is where I'll move this over to turn right about in here somewhere and I'll have all the switches and the air suspension control all that kind of stuff in here cruise control all that be in this panel here come over to about in here somewhere and then uh, and then this the rest of this here I'll angle out into about here somewhere like I was kind of mentioning yesterday so Anyways, I'm done. Still not feeling all that great, so I don't want to overdo it. So uh, we'll I'll post this as is. I guess I wanted to get a little farther along, but just not feeling well enough. So I'll uh, put this one up and then start another one uh, when I'm feeling better. <laughs> 